This is everything you need to know to care for your lawn this summer. Hi, I'm Wes. Summer can be a real challenge for looking after your lawns. With the hot weather, the dry winds, and there's lack of rain in some areas. So it's vital to do all you can to help your lawn so that you can entertain day and night. Let's get into it. The key to summer lawn care lies in conserving water and maximising its effectiveness. Water loss through evaporation can be significantly reduced if you avoid watering during the hottest part of the day. Experts recommend that the best times to water the lawn is in the early morning because temperatures are cooler and the sun is not as intense. So water will evaporate less and more of it will be absorbed into the soil reaching the roots of the grass. And remember, check your local water restrictions which may dictate watering days and times. During the height of summer, cool season grasses such as perennial rye and fescue require a good deep watering two to three times a week, where your warm season grasses such as buffalo, cooch or kaikuyu require deep watering once a week, depending on conditions. However, if your area is humid overnight, water only in the morning to prevent the onset of diseases caused by evening watering. If your region has experienced ample rainfall, then there should be no need for any extra watering at all. To keep your lawn looking fresh and luscious, continue to apply a spreading fertiliser as you did in the spring. The type of fertiliser and the application will depend upon your grass type. You should avoid spreading fertiliser once the temperatures reach about 30 degrees, but if it's warmer than that, you should make sure your lawn is at least moist before applying. There is a specific fertiliser to use for buffalo lawns, but for everything else, a good general all-purpose fertiliser should do the trick. The best time to mow is in the morning or later on in the afternoon to reduce the chances of your grass developing burn tips. During this warmer period, mowing frequency is also increased, especially for your more warmer season grasses as soil temperatures gradually improve. No matter the grass type, you want to keep the lawn longer in the summer so that the roots stay cool. This will also help to save water due to less evaporation, as well as reduce the amount of work that you need to do. For your cooler season grasses, like your perennial rye and fescue, Try to keep your mowing height at about 5 centimetres. When it comes to warm season grasses like buffalo or cooch, aim to keep the height at around 2 to 4 centimetres. Apply a seaweed solution after you've mowed to strengthen the leaf blades and to reduce the stress from the heat. Now to achieve that soft luscious lawn, you need to make sure that your soil gets some good TLC because ultimately, good soil equals good lawn. A good top dress contains everything you need to help a tired lawn recover, revitalising dead patches and helping to save water. Apply this no more than 5 to 10 millimetres in thickness at a time. Rub the sand or the sandy loam in evenly using a lawn level bar. Make sure the tips of the lawn below are visible so that the lawn doesn't get smothered and can still get to the sun. There you have it, the right steps to ensure your lawn gets all the care it needs this summer. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks.